Hello everybody and welcome to day 13 of 30 days of doodles. Today we're doing some around the house doodles so we're going to jump in with a potted plant. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle for the pot. Now we'll refine this shape and we'll drag both of the top corners down at a very slight angle to give it that tapered look and then we'll add a tiny long rectangle on the bottom. The next thing you're going to do is draw two diagonal lines coming out of the top and then you're going to draw a V shape inside of those to create two stems that are branching out. The next thing we're going to draw are these pointed ovals so they are pointed on both sides coming directly out of the stem and then just start angling them out to the side and let them overlap so the one in the center is the most forward facing, all the others are behind it. And we are going to redraw that exact same leaf shape on the other stem. From here, we're going to grab our black pen and we are going to outline all of the lines that we just drew. So remember not to go over the original rectangle. Instead, we're going over that refined tapered shape and leaving those other two lines which we will erase later. As for all the other lines, we will be tracing over them, so your stem and your leaves you'll trace over with your black pen. And the last step is going to be to erase all of our pencil lines and then go in and add our fine details. So we're going to start by adding these short little strokes inside of all of our little leaves just to give them a little bit of texture so they're not completely flat. And then after that you can add any pattern design that you want to your pot. If you prefer to leave it blank you can as well. I went with this Aztec theme so I just drew two horizontal lines and then left a gap and then two more horizontal lines and now I'm putting X's inside and then little dots between each of the little diamond shapes it makes. So now we'll move on to the lamp and we're going to start with a rectangle very similar to what we used for the potted plant. So just this small rectangle that is pretty similar in size and now I am drawing the center line of that so I found the center and drew it and that won't be a line that we go over with our pen it's just a guideline and then I drew two very narrow parallel vertical lines down for the stick part of the lamp and then I created a square at the bottom and I tapered off the sides to go back so that it looks like it's three-dimensional and we're going to do the same thing to the top of the lamp but not for dimensional reasons just to give it that more lamp look so I took the bottom corners of the rectangle at the top for the lampshade and pulled them up and at an angle in so it gives it that tapered look and then I went over everything with my black pen aside from the guidelines that we drew just so that we knew where we were drawing and then I'm going to go in with my smaller pen and I'm going to add a little drawstring for turning light on and again I'll add a pattern to the lampshade on this one I'm just doing a zigzag pattern and you can do anything you want this is completely customizable and go with whatever feels natural and feels right to you Moving on to the picture frame, we are going to draw a vertical rectangle. You could also make this a horizontal rectangle, but I am doing a vertical rectangle for this example. And then I'm going to move in one dot space on the inside of that and draw the exact same rectangle, just smaller. And then take these diagonal lines and draw them from corner to corner from the inner rectangle to the outer one. Finally, I'm adding this little triangle at the top with a dot for where it hangs and now we'll go over all those exterior lines with our pen.
When you're done with all the exterior lines, erase all of your pencil lines that you can see and next we're going to add a wood grain to this. I don't want you to be intimidated. This ends up looking much harder than it actually is. So start with some very small ovals. You don't have to think about spacing. Just put them on there. And then the next thing is just to draw lines that are parallel with whatever side you're doing. So if it's a left or right side, those lines are going to run up and down. And don't use a ruler for this. It should be kind of shaky. And draw your lines down and when you meet one of those little ovals, you're just going to kind of make an arch around it and then continue your line down. And this will give you that grainy wood feel that has some knots in the wood, sort of like an, an old barn wood frame. So continue this all the way around your frame. Remember that you don't have to be precise. These lines can be shaky. You don't have to think about spacing your knots or your little ovals um, specifically or having the same amount on each side. Just continue with the process and it will look good when you're done, I promise. And once you're done with that, you will have completed day 13 of this 30 days of doodles. I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for day 14. We will be doing some fitness related doodles and I'm really looking forward to it. Remember, you can share your doodles with me on Instagram with the hashtag 30 days of doodles with TPP. I would love to see what you're doing and how you're keeping up with the challenge. Feel free to tag me at the Petite Planner and I'll see you guys tomorrow.